Alright guys, so we're back in the garage again. We gotta do a little bit more work on the fenders before the car is able to go into storage for the year. So we're pretty much just going to be sanding, priming, and undercoating them just so they don't rust or any of that crap. But I'm also going to roll the fenders as well, because, I mean, if it's off the car, it might as well just get done now. So I don't have to do it in the spring. And, you know, more seat time. So first, I'm going to get the fan fenders sanded down. I'm sanded real quick. They're sitting on the floor behind me, um, along with, like, half of the rest of the car that I took off. I'm going to get them sanded down real quick, roll them, and then we're going to undercoat them, paint them. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm really only hitting this with 400 grit just because I want to just scuff up the paint so the etching primer will stick to it. So you guys may be wondering why I'm not using like an actual like hand sander or like a palm one, the nice vibrating ones. Well, you know, Harbor Freight ain't open right now. <laughs> so I'm just doing it by hand real quick because I just want to scuff up the paint, get it ready. Uh, so it's just a little more absorbent to the etching primer. And the reason I'm going to be using etching primer is because I want uh, etching primer will stick to the welds and it has acid in it that'll help it stick to the bare metal. And then on the back, when we show it with the undercoating, the undercoating is just gonna be there to protect all the welds that Jim did, as well as just kind of keep it from being another rusty 240 part or another rusty 240 fender. So I'm just gonna keep sanding this down real quick, get the other one up here, sand that one, and then I'll be back when uh, I start hammering out the little lip on the fender so we'll, you know the fenders will be nice and rolled and ready to go. All right guys, got the fenders uh, sanded down. They're looking all right. Um, it's a little cold in my garage, so I may bring them inside, let them warm up for a couple hours, then bring them out before we paint them. It'll just be a quick gap in here. I don't know, maybe I'll go to Chipotle or something, get some food. So I'm gonna be getting into rolling the fenders right now. So what I'm doing first is I'm heating these, the inner lip up with a heat gun. All right, so I just finished the first fender. Um, it came out pretty good for me doing this with probably the wrong type of hammer, but not a lot of bacon waves in the fender itself. There's one little spot where I think the metal was just too cold or I was fucking hammering down way too hard, but you know that'll get fixed when it goes for paint and body work. Hopefully within the next month or two, that'll all get taken care of, get painted, be looking fresh for the spring. Um, hopefully it doesn't snow until fucking May or June. You know, Illinois has two seasons, winter and construction, so we just finished construction, so winter's coming soon. Alright guys, I just remembered that I totally forgot um, to drill out the holes for the mounting points of the fenders on the bottom. Uh, to help with the door gap, Jim recommended that I just kind of elongate the holes so there's a little more adjustability in where the fender mounts up on the bottom so the door gap isn't horrible. Um, it's tight at the bottom, but it doesn't rub right now. But what we're going to do is just elongate the holes by drilling them out and uh, make them fit a little bit better. All right, guys. I already screwed up and forgot to press record, but I already did drill them out. Um, they're about, I don't know, an eighth inch bigger on each side now. Um, I kind of screwed up right there, made the hole a little tall, but uh, I ordered all new hardware online for all the mounting points, 
they're all going to be stainless steel, you know, nice grade, whatever. Um, so, you know, the shape of the hole doesn't have to be perfect because the heads are going to be a little bit bigger bolts on it, so it'll all be good. Oh, did, did I just hit you guys with a... Not sorry. Alright guys, before we jump into the paint for this, um, I'm going to just clean off the fenders with a cleaning agent called Prepsol. Uh, it's just a simple spray that you just spray on, wipe off. It doesn't have any paint removing agents in it. So it's safe to use on painted cars. It's pretty much like a super strong goo off. So I just sprayed some on my rag and I'm just gonna wipe the fender down with it. That'll just prevent any orange peel or any weird stuff that may come out in the primer. So I'm just gonna hit these really quick, get it cleaned up before I go in and paint it, or prime it, whatever you really wanna call it. Uh, whenever painting, use a respirator, but mine decided to break, so I tried to fix it up with a zip tie like always. Um, but it, it didn't work, so I'm just gonna be holding it as I go. Hopefully this doesn't turn out too bad. Alright guys, I'm gonna let this cool in here for a little bit, just get, let it dry out some, uh, and I'll come back in a little bit to check it out. So I guess the temperature in my garage is actually pretty decent for painting right now. The paint on the first fender that I have drying right over there by the door um, hasn't cracked, hasn't orange peeled, hasn't uh, like shriveled up from being a little chilly. Um, but I did bring them inside, let them warm up some. So I'm gonna hit the second one while that one dries. Um, then I'll let them both, you know, sit for a couple hours. I'll go get a haircut. Uh, shout out to my barber, David. Uh, I will get a haircut, come back. Then I'll shoot the second coat as well as the undercoating to protect the welds on the back. Also, I don't know if you guys can hear it in the video or if Angel's going to just go over all this with uh, some of his own music. Uh, but paint sticks better to metal. If you got some R&B playing in the background, it just gets the paint and the metal into the right mood. So, you know, mood's everything. Cue the cinematic shots of the thunder. Fenders dried pretty well, if I have to say so myself. Um, they don't look like shit everywhere. Um, they just look like shit in some places. So I'm gonna throw the respirator back on and get the back sides undercoated. Um, again, just to prevent rust or anything, I'm just using uh, Rust-Oleum brand undercoating, just to protect from rust and you know all the welding and bare metal shit. From sitting over the winter is just gonna wreak havoc on it. So I'm gonna get these sprayed up really quick and we'll be back in just a moment. Just from trying to breathe through the respirator, I can tell this shit is horrible to work with. Um, I'm probably just gonna do a light coat on this. Um, jump to the other fender, hit it with another light coat, let it dry, get my hair cut, finish painting it. And then, I probably won't record all that, but I will hit you guys with a recap after the haircut. Odd flex, I know. Um, but, it is what it is, let's get back to spring. Also, I don't know if you guys follow the same vloggers that we do, but... Um, I'm hella motivated right now. I just saw TJ got a 
Ferrari 458 that's all crashed and shit. I like to compare my car to a Ferrari, except it's not. Alright guys, I'm just going to wrap up the vlog here. Um, it's getting a little too chilly outside. I don't know if you guys can see my breath or not. Um, for the paint to dry correctly, or the undercoating I guess. So, I just have it chilling in the garage for now, getting as much heat on it as possible. I have a little heat lamp set up in there, trying to get them to fucking bake down. But, uh, once those get done, I'll reinstall them. Uh, adjust the fender so they fit a little bit better. Maybe rip rip the car around the block one last time before I drain all the gas out. All I got for you guys.